The ANA project Landscape of Science and Music is part of our exploration about how interdisciplinary collaborations can create new narratives in support of a sustainable development. The project is developed with support from Science Village Scandinavia that now is on the go to build a new public science centre at Brunshög in Lund. Next to the science centre, the old Miller's house, Møllegården, will be kept as a reminder of the area's long agricultural history and the interaction between humans, landscape and development. In this project, we use Møllegården as the starting point to explore this interaction between human and landscape, uh, both in Brunshög and Vomsjösenka. It is also at Möllegården and the participants in the project will give their work in progress presentations. The inspiration for such artistic explorations will come from the collaboration between paleoecologist Anna Broström and the composer Mats Eden. In this open table talk, they share some of their experiences of how to explore new narratives together. Mats, I've been listening to your music for quite some, some years now and I've been to concerts and, and so on and it has been fantastic yeah. to listen to, to these tunes. And then one, it, a couple of years ago we met at a dinner party. Yes, in, Arna. in, Arna in Harlem. Yeah, so. yeah. Yes, and so it, it was sort of, this idea was sort of, you know, sleeping. Yeah. But then it woke up really when we have this kind of meeting here in, in where we are now in Mellon Gordon. And then I, I presented this to my wife actually and said, and she said because I'm going to have, the, have a talk to my boss about my planning for my, my work at the Music Academy in Malmö. And she said, ask if you can do this as part of your work. And I did this for my boss and said, that is very interesting. Yeah. So it's a sort of um, art, um, artistic development study. Yeah. yeah. And this is, this is very, it's great and surprising for me. And I, I was also very happily surprised when you caught on to the idea that this is something that you wanted to explore. Yeah. I'm still fascinated of pollen and the past landscape and I, I'm happy that that you are too. So. When I talk to people, they're always very positive because this is very, this, this is very intriguing. Mm -hmm. Because the, the time we live now with all the change, with the climate change and so on. And so it's very important to see what happened before and the history. And also this is um, real stuff. This is, you know, mathematic correct <laughs> landscape. Um, how the landscape was before and so on. And the struggle is to find a sort of meaningful transition from your funds, what have your research into music. And th that is something completely different because music is not really science, you know. No. No. <laughs> but, but we are, we have uh, come into images, we are sharing images. That's, that's true, yeah. And we have found some images and, and uh, yeah. But this is also to create those images, they look differently in, in, in different heads, so to speak. But last time we met, you, you, you said something about uh, a composer that, that very clearly composed yeah. music from yes. images. And you also had examples. Yes, yes. And, um, I have I have composed some some music with a um, sort of storytelling, but and 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 also pictures in my head. I know exactly where this specific lake and so on. But I don't need to tell this to people because they have to make their own images, you know. Mm -hmm. So, it, that, but um, it's a help to do to to create music to have an image, and and this is very con what a concrete. Um, material. 
and also when when we also work, go on to work with other musicians as well, they have, you know, every, all the musicians I talk to, they say, oh, I would love to do this, you know, and, mm. and because it's exciting. Mm -hmm. And of course, I would have liked to have ready images to serve to our collaboration, but yes. this is not the case. We have we have the maps for the last two hundred years. Yes. And now the, the landscape we live in today is so much different from, from the traditional landscape that was much more, before we had fossil fuels, it was much more uh, smaller, smaller pattern, small scales pattern of, of cultivation and forest yes. and so on, and a totally different landscape. But then when we found out that there's a link... Yes. I, I thought that, that was fantastic. Absolutely. And the, I can see in the, the pollen diagram that, that this traditional landscape has been pretty much the same for thousands of years. Yeah. Thousand years. Yeah. So we have music from, from a landscape thousand years old. Yeah. You could say. You could say, yes. And, uh, because of some of the tunes, if you look at this, some of the tunes from, for example, Värmland and Dalarna, um, before the violin came, they, they were played on different instruments like bagpipe, older type of bowed instruments and so on. And then they were transisted, they moved into the, the violin. And those also, a lot of these tunes also have influence from um, the agriculture uh, way of, of you know, what do you say, fair board. Um, I don't um, know, fair board. Yeah, when, when you put the, the, the during the part of the summer, mm -hmm. you take out the, the cows mm -hmm. to to the mountains. Yeah, for grazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and to communicate with the animals and to communicate with with the, the, the people there, you used your voice and your and different horns. Mm -hmm. And you communicate with, you have different, different music for different animals. Mm -hmm. And also this kind of music also was a big influence to the instrumental music. And I, I think that it's the challenge also to think about how many generations, how many people and generations have been in this landscape. So for the last thousand years it's 40 generations. But we are we are supposed to travel back in time in landscapes of several hundred generations of people. And so for, for when we travel back in time together, yeah. then I tried to make it in chapters so we could, we could create an image of the landscape that was further back in time than thousand years. Yes, and that is it is also good because uh, then you can make your own image about it and 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 see what kind of inspiration you can have, what, what kind of, of of music you will create of those things. Um, we have, for example, one idea that to put to work with a sort of uh, uh, it's called. Aerial guitars or aeolic guitars that mm -hmm. you put that, that one of the musicians are going to work with us, Stefan Östersjö, he's working with this. That you put, I don't know really how it works, but it's kind of instrument you put on the trees with strings and then the wind blow mm -hmm. and you, that creates uh, sort of sound. Yeah, yeah. because I, I, some elements are the same. There has been a wind. Yeah. The wind has been there for thousands of years. Yeah. And we see that from from the pollen that the trees have been there. So this, these kinds of sound could have, I mean, the making instrument of the nature, that, that's, that's possible to, to capture the sounds of nature then. Yeah. And, and I also think it, it's uh, uh, also interesting because every say different people have different views in their head. So I have my views in your head, and mm. Stefan have his, you know, mm. and, and so on. And um, I think that's, that's a part of, of the, 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 the richness of this material, that mm. you can have so, much, so many influences to, and to create so many things, different uh, expressions of. 
that could be, for example, like a kind of sounding material that could be presented on a concert, or maybe put out in nature as a sound sculpture, I don't know. And there are so <laughs> many layers yes. of, of the landscape images to, to explore also. Yeah. Open to... Open to what kind of... Was it cold? Yeah. Uh, what, was it, you know, we, we, we were out in the nature and it was not very hot. It was a bit muddy yeah. and cold. And I was thinking <laughs> rainy. about it, rainy. <laughs> and I think, well, I can go into the house and have a nice cup of tea. Yeah. But those days, how was it then? Yeah. We don't know. We, don't we know. have to find out. We have to find out. Yeah. yeah.